Hello and welcome to whatever the fuck this is. So we have played Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 3, Metal Gear Solid 4, and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Did I yeah. miss anything? No, I don't uh, think so at least. And frankly, I would be done there, but there is more Metal Gear, and I mean, we. we when you take the devil in the boat, you have to row him ashore, as we say in Sweden. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be doing portable ops, but we're not gonna be doing portable ops because of a few reasons. The main being, uh, I don't have a PlayStation Portable. I don't know how to record off a PlayStation Portable. I could emulate, but fuck that. And also, I don't want to play portable ops. Uh, is it that bad? Not really. It's fine. Uh, Peace Walker improves pretty much every single aspect of it, but uh, I don't really want to play that one too. <laughs> uh, so this is the first game we're doing. No, this is the second game we're doing actually that isn't written by Hideo Kojima and is therefore not considered canon. Uh, not really, except unlike something like, uh, this is more like Revengeance than it is like, say, Metal Gear Acid or Ghost Babel, which are Wait, also... Ghost Babel? Ghost Babel for the Game Boy Color, which actually I heard recently might have been the first game where Raiden appeared, actually, because it came... <laughs> Never mind that shit, we, we might actually oh, do think... Ghost Babel one day. But this game is written by Gakuto Mikumo, and uh, I think Kojima only was like a supervisor on the project. Uh, this was considered canon for a while, but then they were like, nah, nah. Uh, is this strictly like uh, retcon in other games? No, that's the thing though, because there's nothing in the later games that contradicts this. So you could consider it canon. If you, you could consider to. it canon, and in fact, there's at least one little Easter egg in uh, Phantom Pain that hints at this game having happened, or at least one thing in this game having happened. But it's widely considered to be non-canon. Non -canon, yes, uh, which is kind of a shame because I think this game is better written than uh, both Peace Walker and Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. All of that. Uh, which may or may not have something to do with the fact that this is not written by Hideo Kojima. Uh, you've mentioned that there's some, like, character destroying shit in later games. I think uh, they should have stopped when they were on top. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like Metal Gear Solid 4 is a great end to the whole Solid saga. Uh, there wasn't really a need for anything more. And there definitely wasn't a need for... Four separate games taking place between Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear 1. Uh, but anyways... What? What? Ooh. No? What? What? <laughs> what the fuck did you say? <laughs> Never mind that shit. We, we, we'll, we'll discover <laughs> that as we go. Uh, but, thing is, we don't have to play this game, though. Uh... Because our dear friend, Mr. Kefka Productions, if that is indeed his real name, or her, I don't know, has arranged for us a movie. Uh, Mr. Productions. Mr. Productions has arranged a movie. Shout out to Kefka Productions uh, for this movie edit. This is a good movie edit. It has one flaw, one big flaw. Uh, there are no subtitles. Yeah, it's uh, fine. So Unless gonna... fucking George is here, we're probably <laughs> fine. <laughs> right, George. Bring the tingo right away. Uh, the tingo... <laughs> Why? Why did I go for the big shock? Uh, Is this racist? No. Not, not until you said anything, at least. Uh, I don't think. I don't know. That's uh, fine. So we're gonna get this show on the road. We're gonna roll this and just watch and comment as we go. I have the ability to pause and even go back a little bit. I hope I won't have to do that. Uh, this is Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops, the movie edit. Uh, thank you very much, Kefka Productions. Now let's go. Oh, 
we're doing the old hand-drawn looking style. Uh, this style was first done in the Metal like Gear Solid dig digital visual novel rendition. That was like actually comic bookish. Yes. Yep, Big Boss is back. I know all about you, boss. I would you prefer I called you Naked Snake. Sounds like you've got the right guy. David Hater back, of course. My name is Lieutenant Cunningham. Until four weeks ago, I was with the CIA. Cunningham? Fox Unit's interrogation specialist? Ah, so you have. I'm honored, Snake. And those guys who attacked me, they were Fox too. Yeah, although we're leaving it back for now. What do you want from me? I'm retired from Fox. I'm guessing this isn't a social call or you wouldn't have brought the goons. Retired? Yeah, I suppose you are to the outside world. Don't worry. I'm not here to give you a... Who is one of those racist the headband thingies, do-rags? Are they racist? Yeah, they're widely used among like skin and uh, circles and stuff. What? I believe. At least biker gangs. Well, not all biker gangs are racist. No, all the ones in movies are just big, burly, nice guys. That's what I've learned, at least. <laughs> Grad. This, uh, this guy, Cunningham, he's voiced by uh, one Noah you? Nelson, who hasn't done a lot of voice work. He's been a Transformer, Where is it? If you look Blackout. Which one? I don't know that guy. They're the ones who took it after the mission six years ago. <laughs> Simply apply the right type of pain to the right degree at just the right location. It's always been my policy of persuasion, and I found it to be quite effective. I don't think the Big CIA Boss is the first guy you're gonna get with torture. No. Has every main snake been tortured? Main character snake been tortured in these game? I mean, there's only two, and yes, they have been in every game. Yeah. I mean, if you count the uh, microwave hallway, then yeah. I mean, kind of. So this is what the game actually looks like. Uh, this is a PlayStation Portable game. It looks pretty good for a PlayStation for a PSP game. Uh, and it plays pretty good too. Yeah. Uh, I want to remember. I haven't touched this game in like 15 years or ho however long ago, ago this game came out. It actually looks a lot like uh, Metal Gear. Aromatic polymide. Uh, this is Fox Unit's new sneaking suit. What's this doing here? I'm gonna have to do some reading. Yeah, I think most people don't know about Los Muertos.
I believe this is 1970, six years after uh, Solid 3. Cold War was a costly affair. Last year, they began conducting the strategic arms limitation talks with the goal of limiting each country's number of ballistic missiles. We have heard about that in Metal Gear before. Yeah. Uh, you know, wait, what's her name? Natasha? Uh, in uh, Solid One talks about these talks, the salt. Fox unit. Uh, What's a Russian gunship doing here? I kind of like the bigger, more specific uh, radio crews more than the new ones. Yeah? Because you got, had like specialists on everything. And they gave I, I miss George Kostler. I miss Kostler too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a dude. It's someone we know. I was gonna make a joke about his name being Mr. Exposition Man. I know who that is. So you can stick up people. You can seek you see. Okay, you can do... fucking uh, do a judo throw and yeah. slam them into the ground. Of course. Mark 17. You can do. Most of the things you can do in uh, Solid 3 in this game. Yeah, it... So, does anybody read me? This is Snake. If anybody hears this, please respond. Uh, so I'm gonna have to read the codex because they're not voiced. Snake! It's paramedic. It's Dr. Clark. Is it you? Is it the real naked snake? That voice. Paramedic. It's me. It's been a while, huh, Snake? Have you seen Godzilla yet? It's good to hear your voice again. <laughs> Same here. It'd be even better if we weren't in this godforsaken place. So we're still using this circuit? Major Zero. Uh, uh, fuck. I, I, I don't know who's talking. He said if you were safe, you might... Does he, you remember Zero? Remember the villain of the, the whole series? Yeah. I never really expected to call you... Yeah, me too. I remember Joe Biden. <laughs> right. Where's the mayor? Major. Major Zero was placed under arrest by the military last month. The military... Pentagon arrested the Major. Why? He's being held under suspicion of treason. He would never. I don't know the details, but a month ago, the CIA, a CIA unit stole a top-secret weapon guarded by the military and fled the country. Uh, they're charging the Major with instigating the revolt. You've been charged too, Snake. Me? The military believes you spearheaded the rebellion. You gotta be kidding me. I'm retired from Fox. I know, Snake. Calm down and listen to me. Just calm the fuck down. The CIA unit, the one that stole the prototype weapon and executed the revolt, its name was Fox. Yeah. Meaning the Fox unit is your next target. What the hell? What are they after? I don't know. <laughs> Any members of Fox who didn't join the rebellion were killed. The unit is in shambles. 
It's all falling apart. I don't believe this. So how no, you does see, this tie into the f fucking first game? You know what the military suspects you, don't you, Snake? First game as in Metal Gear 1? Yeah. Whoever started this mess managed to gather Fox members specializing in... Solo missions and kill those who oppose. Uh, you'll... Uh, does it? We'll see. The only soldier who could have pulled that off is you. Done in by my own overblown reputation. Are you the only one there? For now, at least. But Sigan's helping us out over at ARPA. Because he's the DARPA chief, remember? Yeah. Remember that Sigan is the DARPA chief? The Pentagon's advanced research program I do. projects agency. His frequency is 14841. So you're saying that Sigan went from cool uh, hip-hop dude to <laughs> businessman who died off screen? Yo, snake! Long time no see! I hear you got yourself into a bad mess out there. Uh, we need evidence that proves your innocence. Otherwise, we're gonna end up court-martialed for helping you. We're not just talking about rogue Fox members here. They got the Russian soldiers based on the peninsula on their side. Yeah, that's what we heard too. Uh, anyway, because of that, neither the US nor the Soviet Union can get involved publicly. There will be less reading later on. Uh, if the world found out the Russians built a nuclear base in Colombia, or that Americans had one of their most advanced weapons stolen, there'd be hell to pay. And the rogue unit is using those secrets as leverage to demand negotiations for independence with the US and the Soviet Union. They're planning to create a new military nation? So in other words, they got the force and uh, serious measures are back of these crazy demands. Uh, and you want me, on my own, to go in and capture the ringleader of this rebellion? Well, there's no reason you have to do it alone. If the rebels manage to get local militia on their side, who's to say you can't do the same thing? You're saying I should convince the Russians and the rebels to join my side. It's not that complicated, man. Just think of it as procuring your... allies on site. On site procurement of allies. They want to make an independent military nation. Nice. That ties in. Outer heaven. To, yeah. Snake, what are you doing back there? Here. Found a key. Thought you might be interested in it. Did you but call I, for help? Yeah. But I mean like the... You, you can... Yeah. Well, uh, leading Fox... Uh, uh, we can pause if we need to. But there will be some breaks as well. Uh, can't forget about someone coming to rescue us. We can forget. Clear your name, but how? Track down the real roots of Fox's rebellion. Roy. What? I need your help to pull this off. Me? Yeah, I need your skills as a Green Beret. Oh, Snake, don't go get in get off track. What's so crazy about? Look at me, my leg's broken. I can barely walk. And I've had this nasty fever for days. Alright, why don't you drive instead of walk? What do you mean? On a base this big, there's bound to be a personnel transport vehicle. Or two lying around. Well, yeah, but... And you don't need your legs to fire a gun, right? So, are you with me? You Roy. son of a bitch. I'm in. You son of a bitch, yeah. Who you want? Oh, jeez, who would have thought the legendary big boss would be this pusher? Uh, leave, leaving my spare radio with you. Anything happens, call me. Uh, you were gonna say? Uh, I meant with, like, Fox uh, going rogue. Yeah? Uh, um, Snake is... Fox! Snake is a part of Fox Hunt. Yes. Uh, in the first game. Mm, Solid Snake, yes. Yeah, Solid Snake. Foxhound is not Fox. Yeah, I assume... Uh... Quick thinker too. They treat you well. You're 
Is Johnny going to be in this? Who are you? Call me uh, is he? Is that a code name? You must be with the Americans. Are you with the Fox unit too? I'm not with the Americans or with Fox. I'm just a soldier. Just a soldier. Then why if you're here to stop Fox unit from going renegade? A member of Fox named Gene betrayed the US government and stole the top secret weapon. He plans to use that weapon and the warheads in his base as bargaining chips to negotiate with your country. But blackmail is more like it. We're here to put a stop to it. Our mission is to free the soldiers of the San Geronimo Peninsula from Gene's control and capture the traitors in the Fox unit. I can understand if you're afraid of Fox, but we need others to help us free the Soviet soldiers on this peninsula. Will you join us? You're here to save us? And you want me to help you defeat Gene? I'm not entirely sure. That sounds like it could be Robin Atkin Downs. You think he's been brainwashed? Brainwashed? Is that what you think is happening here? That sounds a lot like him. He is credited... Uh, I can't find the specific credit for this character. I can only find Soviet soldier A, B, C and so on. Yeah. Uh, this might be Robin Atkin Downs. Which will be interesting when we get to the next game. Because of the secrecy of our mission. The climate was brutal. The meals were meager. We watched as our comrades succumbed to disease or died fighting the Colombian government. And still we went on carrying out our mission, believing our efforts were all for the good of the motherland. And how did the motherland reward us? By stabbing us in the back. You're talking about the Kremlin's policy shift. If the existence of this base came to light, the political fallout with the United States could fatally undermine Moscow's position in the strategic arms limitation talks that Brezhnev is promoting. Oh, I love all the anime politics. No political rationales. What matters to us is that Mother Russia wiped this base from existence. But instead of allowing us to return home, the army erased all traces of communication and cut off our supplies. They sought to isolate the peninsula and make it look like this was all the work of a few out of control soldiers. We were abandoned by our own country. That's why that has to be. Do you, have you heard Robin Atkin Downs in anything? I don't know. Probably. He's uh, Travis Touchdown in No More Heroes. I should really play No More Heroes. He will deliver us justice. The only thing we fear is losing. Are you catching this? Gene is the leader. Yeah. You'll never be able to stop him. Who's the next? Is the next fucking bad guy gonna be meme? A professional soldier never brings justice into the mission. The only ones who need a reason to fight are the ones who fight for a living. That's what my mentor told me. Huh. Politics are fickle. He's been a scarecrow in a few Batman productions. Which ones? Soldiers like us need nothing to believe. Uh, a couple of long Halloween. Oh, I've seen those. Those are actually pretty good. Does he show up in Long Halloween? Yes, barely. Well, apparently he's Thomas Wayne as well. Alright. I killed her. The boss? The legendary soldier? You must be Big Boss. You're the hero who killed Colonel Volgan at Frosty Crack. Hmm. Volgan? <laughs> That's what the boss told me. I still don't know what she meant. Prove your loyalty. Not to justice. Not to your country. But to yourself. Does Gene truly plan to threaten the motherland? Yes. Snake procured documents from a patrol station that confirm as much. If launched from this base, the weapon Gene stole could deliver a devastating blow to every major city in Russia. I know it's hard to believe. No, I believe you. Not as a member of the Red Army, but as a soldier. I appreciate it. I will follow you, Snake. Give me my mission. Okay, everybody here. We're all set, big boss. 
Everybody's here. So this uh, family doctor, is she that good? Yeah, you could say that. She saved my life more than once. Snake, you came all the way back to the communications facility? You must really want to talk to me, huh? Yeah, actually, I do. One of my men has come down with malaria. Malaria? Can you get some preventive drugs? Depending on the drug, it can be used to treat malaria even after symptoms appear. So the only way to treat is to find, yeah. So yeah, your, your fucking dudes get malaria in, in this metal gear. Pog. Better hurry. Might already be infected with the same parasites. Only a matter of time before you start developing symptoms. Got it. I'm trying to remember what Scarecrow does in Long Halloween. He like rides around on his horse. <laughs> oh, he rides a horse in that one too. Yeah. Have you seen Batman Begins? Uh, no. Oh, you really should. Yeah. There's a very brief scene of Scarecrow riding a horse. He like rides around on his horse and talks to Penguin. Ah. Talking to Penguin sounds like a mistake. No, but they're like buddies and walk and Penguin is walking next to him while he's riding his horse. And his short little legs can barely keep up, it's super funny. Ah. Calendar, Calendar Man has like a super duper big importance in that movie, which is weird. He has more screen time than the Joker. <laughs> I think. Perfect soldier. So Gene here is voiced by Steve Bloom, who's in like everything. This is very co comic booky. Yes. Why watch the new Spider-Man when we can watch fucking Portal Blocks? Oh, but we should. You should come see the new. I want to see the new Spider-Man again. It's so good. I, I'm kind of regretting that I didn't go watch it. I, I can go see it again. Oh hey, you you keep talking about fucking Owl House, right? Yeah, that's a good show. Uh, Steve Bloom, he's salty. Salty? Mm, two episodes, I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. Salty. Salty. Oh, is he the old principal? I have no idea. Probably. He's like a guy who complains about people's shoes being too squeaky because you can't trust them. If they're too mm. quiet. You have to have the perfect squeak in your shoe. Yeah. Oh right, he's Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat. Huh. He's a bunch of people. So you've been around the block, you know that when someone has this voice effect on them, their voice is not just their voice. Yeah. Oh, he's been Lex Luthor a couple of times. That voice. And, and Taskmaster. That and Black Mask. And Santa Claus? Steve Bloom has been in everything. Yeah. Isn't he a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh man? Uh, I don't know why, but his speech gave me Big Brother vibes, and then I started. That's an interesting point to make. Yeah. That's gonna be very relevant when we get to Phantom Pain. And it reminded me of the memes where it's Big Brother saying, "Do not eat uranium." <laughs> but I got a bulk. Do you realize how many calories is in one gram of uranium? I love that, like 
<laughs> actual doctor says, don't eat uranium. And then a guy reacts with fucking super loud music in the background, just putting a piece of uranium in his mouth and flexing. <laughs> Fucking love him when he grumbles. ESP. My powers are pretty weak. Psychic powers. She's one of the most powerful psychics in all the communist world. Through special training, Ursula gained great power, but in doing so, lost everything that makes her human. So much so that she can't even talk with me anymore. Four years ago, Jean took us away from this journey. He was on a mission from Fox. The CIA wanted to get its hands on ESP from the communist bloc. And then you joined this little revolution. Yes, that's right. So, this is what you were calling the perfect soldier. Does he have ESP too? No, he's just an ordinary human being. That is, he used to be. He was raised in a special way, under very special conditions, to be a great warrior. And we have seen the Cobra unit at this point, so super soldiers are not exactly new. Created with one purpose only, to accomplish the mission. He has no human memories. The only thing he has left are his skills in battle. No memories? Each time he completes a mission, he undergoes readjustment. Like this. Inside the culture chain, all five senses are shut out completely. Most men would go mad in minutes. Like a baby who's coming into the world for the first time. The perfect soldier's senses are honed to a razor sharpness. He can read the enemy's movements and learn them faster than any normal person ever could. What kind of person could endure that kind of extreme training? Nobody, of course. The perfect soldier project ended in failure and was abandoned. He was the only success. That's why they gave him the code name, No. He's a lost number. He this is so dumb. And no memory. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a project member. It's not the dumbest name. We're gonna get the dumbest name in the next game. Is it Skullface? No. That's also a very dumb name, though. I mean, is it dumber than Shoot Gunner? <laughs> is it dumber than Die Hard Man? <laughs> that's uh, Death Stranding, also Kojima. Yeah, I know. It's a code name. Do you know what his real name is? No. Fucking John McClane. Right, because Die Hard. Yeah. I haven't seen Die Hard. Oh, dude. We gotta see Die Hard. I know. We watched it at Christmas. It's a Christmas movie. I know. But I'm like four years old. Die Hard is like 25 billion bazillion. It was made in the 1900s. It's... Don't you like Predator? I love Predator. <laughs> oh, well, are you gonna... I'm just explaining why I haven't seen it. Fair, I suppose. There's a lot of movies to watch. I haven't seen that many movies. I feel like. If you can't do that, you're already dead. All right, next time, let's try for a more upbeat prophecy. By the way, uh, did she say her name? I don't know. We might have talked over it. Uh, that, that girl's name... Do they say Eliza or Elisa? By the way, she's voiced by Tara Strong, who's in, like, fucking everything. Yeah. Shut up! You think you scoundrels can just do as you please in my base? As soon as my reinforcements arrive from Russia, we will crush you like the vermin you are. We will teach you to 
teach you what baseness really is. The same goes for that. I'll we'll teach you the meaning of based. Pathetic. Is it hard being an officer that is when no one follows your orders? Silence! And this guy is fucking Dwight Schultz. Uh, A.K.A. fucking Lieutenant Barkley. Mr. We Broccoli. We think there things in his head. Pinhead. Yeah. Yeah. You're a monster. You try to kill a man, then call him monster. Such cruel behavior. Damn it. It's not Luke Cage. Luke Cage? He's bulletproof. Yeah, no. I'm bulletproof. All this way. I don't remember him yelling that. It's heavy. TF2. Oh, fair enough. I thought you were talking about Luke Cage still. When he gets uber charged in the cinematic, yeah, he screams that I, I, I know, I know. I just thought you were talking about Luke Cage. I'm fucking invincible! That's also a good That's one. A, that I know exactly what that is. Yeet! When, when he's fucking invincible. When I'm he... fucking invincible! How dare you put me in a cage like a cow! So he's just sub zero. A little bit. Iceman, but bad. Honey, where's my super suit? Fucking love. What's his name? Frozone? Yeah. So good. He's the best part of that movie. Oh, there's many good parts in that movie. It's a really good movie. It's a fucking amazing movie. The second one isn't as good. I have not seen the second one because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared that I'm not gonna like it. I don't know, but that animation reminded me a bit of Alphabusa stuff. Yeah, I can see what you mean. There, there's a lot of that. Uh, and there's gonna be a lot of that in Peace Walker as well. Uh, who does this art? It's not... it's not uh, Shinkawa. Ashley Wood appears to be the artist. Ashley I'm... wouldn't. No, 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 it's Wood as in the material. I, I, I know. It, it's Woody. Woody and Buzz. There's a snake in my pant. Boots. I know. Your pistol keeps pistol whipping me when I lean back. It's not... Fear. The fear. I fucking love the fear. It's great. He's. I'm assuming he's super underrated. Fear. Yeah. I mean, he's appreciated for being a pretty good boss fight. Uh, he doesn't have a lot going on for him. Yeah. He, he's kind of the mistral of the Cobras. Sure. Where he doesn't have that much going on. I mean, the Fury doesn't have that much either. I like how fucking the pain. Kamsin has more memes about him than Mistral. And he's a DLC boss. Yeah. If you don't know three freedom... <laughs> freedom is calling for all men who bend the will. Yeah. I also like that it just screams randomly in that sentence. <laughs> it just screams. Yeah, but this is great. Yeah. Mm, that's strange. The crate looks a bit out of place. I've... It's labeled Made in USA. That's gotta be it. This is what you wanted me to find. I mean, the Revenge of Status Beans are getting a bit stale. Yeah. But I saw one with, with furries and I then Cam said it was. Keep the prototype weapon in. And then Cam said so the sure. line. Yeah. Buckle the fuck up, little dog, and that was funny. 
Yeah, yeah sure. It looks like he's headed for Vietnam. Interesting. So what's the problem? I just checked some of the crates and they're empty. The contents must have already been shipped to the out of the harbor. Campbell. <laughs> Who's this? Call me Deep Throat. Uh, just heard a familiar voice and thought I'd say hello. Enough to uh, for taking care of Volgin. Volgin at Krosnigrad. Yeah, so you do remember. Who are you? Sorry, but I can't reveal my name just yet. From now on, call me Privigeni. Ghost. Call me whatever you please. After all, a name is nothing more than a decoration. Engravings give no tactical advantage whatsoever. Uh, but more to the point, I was listening in. Uh, you seem to have quite an interest in the prototype weapon. You know something about it? Do you remember the Shagohod? The monster that Sokolov built? It was a nuclear armed tank that could fire a nuclear missile from the ground. Do you mean... At last, you're beginning to catch on. Do you, uh, so the prototype weapon is... Uh, blah, blah, blah. But the Shagohod was only capable of firing a single intermediate range missile. It couldn't possibly hit every major city in Russia. You're right, the old Shagohod could never do that. But America uh, was already working on a MIRV. Multiple independency uh, uh, re-entry vehicles carries multiple nuclear warheads, each capable of striking a different target. That's what a MIRV is. Uh, oh, the Shagohod is just a fucking death strike Precisely. from Warhammer. But, kind of. Oh, accuracy, the high cost of deployment, and the inability to the abattoir wants to launch. But this prototype genes are a nuclear tank to make uh, up for shortcomings. A new type of nuclear tank. The new design travels along the ballistic terrain and allows you to infiltrate the territory of any country in the world. The way we would be able to stop it. And as a nuclear launch platform, killing nuclear will penetrate any type of terrain, neutralize any enemy country with support whatsoever. They're going to strap the Chagohod to an ICBM launched in an enemy country. That's possible. It would be impossible for the Shagohod, but what if it were something smaller and more mobile? For inside, <laughs> fuck, a walking tank, Asshole. like the Saturn rocket they used to launch the Apollo nuclear lunar module. A walking tank. Of course, at the same time Sokolov was de developing the Shagohod, the Granin Lab was developing a bipedal walking tank called Metal Gear. Ghost, are you Granin, the man who designed Metal Gear? No, Granin must be dead. He was killed by Volgin. You saw him die, Snake. Granin, that name brings back memories. But go ahead and believe I'm Granin if you like. So Metal Gear is actually a walking nuclear tank equipped with multiple small nuclear warheads. Exactly. However, it's still in the develop preparation stage. It's not ready to launch yet. What was stolen from America was only the Metal Gear vehicle itself. Gene intends to arm it with a Soviet-made warhead stored on this peninsula. But can it use Soviet warheads? Oh wait, the blueprints for Metal Gear was were originally Soviet-made. I was surprised they were able to smuggle something of that size out of America. I had a government uh, in official involved. I'm guessing it's an uh, airport. We're getting fucked. This is quick. Oh, all right. Got it. So if I take out the nuclear storage from this... Uh, <laughs> fuck. Prevent Metal Gear from being launched. Metal Gear! <laughs> I'll give you whatever help I can, even if I can ghost. <laughs> right, let them launch Metal Gear into the motherland. I'll believe you, ghost. Oh, you should... I My frequency is 144.78. You to stop Metal Gear. Fuck. Oh, god damn it. I. Ah, uh, you should. Oh, it would be so funny if someone voiced the game with just one dude saying every line <laughs> like that. And he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, the script is going by too fast. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, they have a Metal Gear in 1970, 25 years before fucking Operation Intrude M313. Machine room, eh? It's just a hunch, but I'm thinking it could be responsible for supplying most of the power to the facility. Probably provides power use in the elevator as well. Uh, sabotage the uh, cutting off the power source should make uh, plant those explosive yours. Got it. Explosives. Got it. <laughs> Kind of like when you do that in MGS2. Yeah. Python. So you were alive all this time. What happened to you? 
body. It has been a while. How long has it been since our last mission together? Nearly ten years? We were both so very young back then. Yeah. When the boss vanished, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing, you were there to save me. You were one of the few people I could always count on in battle. But I thought you were dead. You were wounded on that top secret mission in Vietnam. Yeah. So they insert this character into the backstory of Big Boss. At one point, I was They're gonna be doing that a lot. My body lost the ability to regulate his temperature. Left unchecked. And this guy here, Python, he's a little bit like the Grey Fox to Big Boss. The way Grey Fox is to Solid Snake. At least that's how I interpret it. Also, that makes no fucking sense. Sh shut up. I like the onomatopoeia. It's kind of. In Peace Walker, small spoiler, they're gonna be doing the same style of cutscene, but with speech bubbles. I don't understand why they don't have the speech bubbles here. Oh well. Man, Dwight really chewing it up in their recording booth. He's the anti-snake though. Oh, that's so stupid. But it's very funny here. It's been doing wet work. I do. I have nightmares about them. Nearly every night. They won't leave me alone. But I've spilled far too much blood by now to ever make amends. The nightmares end today. By God, don't. I've been waiting for this moment. The moment when we could meet each other face to face on the battlefield as enemies. Snake. After I've killed you, my purpose will be fulfilled. Let's go! Let's go! So, I mentioned having played this game when it came out. I didn't actually have a PSP, I only played bits of this game when I bought... I had a friend with a PSP and I had a DS. We occasionally traded for like a week uh, consoles. So I played hmm. bits of this game, and then I was like, ah, fuck it, Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember how it controls compared to Peace Walker. I remember how Peace Walker controls. Does it control good? It does what it can. You. The weirdest thing is like... You have to like aim with the face buttons because it, the PSP only has one stick. So I don't I don't even remember how you aim in this game. It might be like the more classic going to first person aim with the left stick. I'm not sure. When was this released? Uh, this is, was actually released before Solid 4. Uh, 2006 or 7. It's very anime. <laughs> it has that who am I gonna eat ice cream with en uh, energy. Do you know about that? No. It's a line that makes perfect sense in context but is hilarious out of context from Kingdom Hearts. When someone is dying 
And the dude is like hold, oh. holding her hand and he's like, no, you can't die. Who am I going to eat ice cream with? Yeah, I know that. I've played King Hearts. We played uh, Days. Uh, mm, no, but I know that line. I've the, the ones I haven't played, I've watched recaps of. Okay. I know the fucking the sea salt ice creams. Yeah. Turkey. Now, sweet. Fucking Donald. Wait, what the fuck is... Oh, okay, you're doing a Donald, I see. I can't do a Donald. No, who the fuck can do a Donald? I can't. The voice actor for Donald. McDonald. Yeah. Remember when... Donald Duck did a set of flair? And just fucking evaporated one Xehanort? Yeah. My Donald Duck is just fucking Gollum. Kinda. Have you played Gollum yet? <laughs> no. What is this guy? And here comes Null. Why? Why do you still live? Who has probably to me the most Don't awkward voice acting? I'm soldier in battle and survive. But you won't die. Why? Like I get that he's supposed to sound robotic. But it... Mm, I don't know if it works. Oh. Apparently he does... Apparently voices both Grey Fox and uh, Olga in Cyborg Ninja form in the digital graphic novels. Uh, this is Lark Spice does the voice. I think that's how you say his name. Hasn't done a lot of voice work. Your mission is over now. At ease. See, only a puppet after all. Now this is making me Looks fucking. Like uh, Intel what? What's the word for Sugan in English? It has always been my understanding. Ah, Sugan teased nuts. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Commander. But it all depends on the time and the place. You want to do something. Yeah. This is making me hungry, I guess. For or, or thirsty maybe for null oil. God damn it. As a fellow fox, that shit busted. No we don't. Oh, have you seen the dodge beef of him just looking at plastic loot and saying, Dab this shit fire? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Oh, it's great. Eric's Earth Shade, on the other hand, is fucking disgusting. Is that so? Yeah. I can say I haven't tasted either, to be fair. Confessions extracted via truth serum can't be trusted. I mean, more so if you're using a strong. Form. I didn't do it on purpose. You could fall apart Death. before you even have a chance to question it. You know that as well as I. Why the hurry, Cunningham? It seemed uh, the ideal way to handle it from an efficiency perspective. <laughs> All right, Barry. But I want to talk to you first. Be my guest. Truth serums also have an anesthetic. If I use it before he recovers his strength, I can't make him hurt. Let's let him taste the fear a little while longer. So he's our torture man of the game. Yeah. No fucking ocelot. Well, that was your stipulation for actually doing this. There will be an ocelot appearance, but he's not like... Yeah. There's not a lot of them. I know. I remember. That's why you retired from Fox. But here you are back on the battlefield. Once you've inherited the soul of a warrior, you can never leave the battlefield. <laughs> Allow me to share a story. This whole business about stealing Metal Gear. It was all set up from the beginning. The idea was the CIA's. They were planning to give the American-developed Metal Gear to the Russians. 
giving the enemy a new weapon. Man. They really fuck up the timeline of... Like, they treat Metal Gear as something brand new in Metal Gear 1. And then they're like, nah, Granin thought of it. And then there was an actual functioning Metal Gear in 1970. Yeah. You better fucking believe there's gonna be Metal Gears out, out the ass before we're there. What? Ask here. I don't know. And is moving to cement her military superiority through the ongoing strategic arms limitation talks. At this rate, Mexico. the global balance of power will soon collapse. And before long, the Cold War will have ended. And when that happens, the CIA's importance will have diminished considerably. The CIA is giving Metal Gear to the Russians to maintain the balance of power? Man, that's crazy. Metal Gear is a weapon far more advanced than any Merv. It would be a most valuable trump card for Moscow. One that would render salt irrelevant. The world would move away from compromise and accommodation. And once again split in two, the age of soldiers and spies would continue. Fox's orders from the CIA were not to guard Metal Gear during transport. And then to pretend to defect the Soviet Union. So they're not actually rogue, and this is all part of like a 5D chess game. Also, have you played interdimensional or 5D chess with uh, time tra travel? No. Interdimensional tra time travel? Either? I have played 3D chess. That's the most I've done. Like Star Trek? Uh, 5D chess is fucking. Weird. I'm sure. Because you're playing multiple games at once and you can switch pieces from one game to another. Yeah. And you can go back in time to check someone with a piece. In the past. Have you heard of the successor project? No. It was a top secret experiment conducted by the US government. Its goal to create the ultimate battlefield commander. The skills to wage war. The aptitude for strategy. The endurance to return from battle alive, and the charisma to overwhelm and master charisma. My voice is endowed with a special power. So he's the project of like some stupid gene therapy. Maybe that's why his name is Gene. And the soldier they chose. <laughs> All right. He keeps showing this exact same picture of the boss. <laughs> this is like the fourth time we've seen it. Third or fourth. So he's... Gene here is low-key the solid snake to the boss's big boss, if that makes any sense. He's supposed to be her inheritor. Yeah. It's me. Somehow I knew it would be you. Yes, negotiations with the Kremlin were a success. They won't interfere with what's about to happen. I must thank you for all your help. When they saw the trajectory data for Metal Gear, they knew that this was no bluff. The CIA must be in a state of total panic about now. All part of your plan, I presume. Tell me something, though. You couldn't possibly have obtained the data on your own, could you? There must be someone backing you. Who is it? Never mind. I've got a very good idea who it is. The man with the same code name as Null. But you do realize you're betraying your employer, don't you? Betrayals are nothing new in this series. Just what is it you've got in mind? You're not losing me, are you? Hell of a thing to ask. No matter. We'll meet again. In a new world. One of my own creation. Until then, my friend.
<laughs> so he just asked Revolver Ocelot, you're not planning to betray me, are you? <laughs> Which is the funniest fucking thing you can ask Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> yeah. What's the meaning of this? Like how many levels deep is he <laughs> in the spy game? <laughs> At this fucking your point, he's Need like, wow. Your mission is complete. Stand down, love. No. Why won't you die, Snake? Out of my way. I'll kill him. I must kill him. I must kill him. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't think he has the best voice acting in this game. Mr. Null here. You will follow my orders, perfect soldier. I am your commander. Take him to the preparation chamber. There's something fucked up with the term preparation chamber. Yeah. The perfect soldier has his memory reset after every mission. Yet, after a single skirmish, you managed to instill such strong emotions in him. Snake. Hi there. I brought you some dinner and some for the prisoner, too. Thank you. Awfully nice of you to come all this way just to bring me a meal. Don't mention. Say, mind if I talk to the prisoner for a little while? I want to meet the man who fought the perfect soldier and lived to tell about it. Don't mind me, just enjoy your supper. Huh? But... Please try to understand. When a girl's life is on the line, sometimes she longs for a strong man. Uh... What? I don't fucking know. Speaking of strong men, fucking hell, dude. Do you have to be that strong? You're making my fucking uh, PRs look like nothing. I, I added two and a half kilos to my last PR. And it's fucking... Yeah, it wasn't even that hard. It was fucking easy. I mean... Looked super clean though. Thank you. Uh, for context, I uh, did a uh, personal best for deadlift today at 212.5 kilos. Uh, which is like 468 pounds. I'm shooting for 500. I really want to get there. Also, is she, she the love interest for this game? Not really. I mean, Big Boss like treats her as a child. I know. That's why I said that with concern. Like she did this in order to use her ESP to talk in the head without yeah. being heard. At least that's the surface reason. I don't know, maybe it's a horny thing. I don't read too much into it. There there will definitely be a couple horny things in the next game because Kojima is back. Oh god. Yeah. This is interesting. If it is what I think it is. Oh, maybe she doesn't say that yet. <laughs> what's, the, what's wrong with your face? Okay, Chief. Uh, time to wrap it up. She... Huh? Her face like got lopsided. Gone. <laughs> Is that how you write that? What? It's like... I don't know. It's, it looks like what you put in comic books when they swear and you don't wanna, want the kids to know. Yeah. I was gonna say Phyrexian. Uh, sure, I guess. 
You didn't even know. Did you know that in the new Phyrexia set, the special art cards are uh, the text in Phyrexia? Huh. I didn't know that. I have seen the uh, one ring card from the Lord of the Rings set. Though. Yeah. That's cool. Isn't that supposed to be like one, one card in the whole fucking set? Yeah. I know where Relic Gear is. Our business here is finished. Roger that, boss. There's a passageway up ahead. It's only lightly guarded. That, that's got to be Robin I can dance. I keep saying. I just can't confirm it. Into the line, Snake. These are capable men you lead, Snake. I never thought a fox agent, a specialist in... Oh, the fucking flashbacks from the Metal Gear 3. <laughs> yeah. Thingies. Yeah. My mistake. You nearly slipped through my fingers. You can't even shoot them because they make noise and alert the enemies and then they just send in more. You can shoot them. Yeah, but they make so much noise that they just send yeah. reinforcements. Yeah. Now that we're both here, we can get on with the questioning. The legacy. Where is it? I know you stole the KGB's hat. Now tell me where it is. The KGB? What are you talking about? Still that was... playing it denied. Have it your way. Your men die by my hand one by one until you change your mind. So it's a thing, by the way, that you recruit soldiers in this game. You like drag people. If you uh, if you like trank someone and you drag them to a certain point, you can extract them and put them in your personal army. You must know where the legacy is. The Pentagon told me. The Pentagon. Why are you so concerned about what's happened to the Legacy Cunningham? What's your stake in this? Enough! You'd better start giving me some answers, or else! That's weird, that's like a 3D model, kind of, maybe. I don't know. It's Alpha Boost, is it? Yeah. There's the name, Elisa. Bracka, 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 bracka. Daka, daka, daka. Yeah, exactly. Looks like we shook them off. Yeah, glad to see you're still in one piece, Snake. How's it By the way, this is. Uh, Campbell in this game is David Agranov, who hasn't done a whole lot of voice work either. It does seem to me like he listened to uh, Paul Eading's uh, Campbell from the previous games and sort of figured how he would sound like if he was younger. Even, uh, even now. Yeah. You know, considering Solid 4, Campbell yeah. maybe should shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's not what I meant. I mean, the reason why you betrayed Jean and saved me, you never told me. Haven't I already explained this to you? I want you to destroy Metal Gear. I thought you were loyal to Jean. I thought so too. At first. Even now I'm still grateful to him. In East Germany, Ursula and I were used like guinea pigs. He saved us from that. But the communists, the Americans, they're all the same. All the military wanted was to know the secret of our ESP. They only wanted us so they could use our ESP in war. So once again, I ran away with G. Then why did you end up betraying him? It was the nukes. No one should ever be allowed to use nuclear warheads. Not ever. I'm a victim of the atomic bomb snake. Based. My parents were nuclear <laughs> physicists working in the Soviet Union. I mean, that's pretty much the big thing with 
the Metal Gears. It's all, it will it always comes back to nukes. Yeah, nukes are cringe. You can't have children either. Except he does. He can't voluntarily have children. But that is interesting. She's saying he'll be a great father. He was a super good father to Liquid, Solidus, and Absolutely. Solid. By the way, I'm fucking stupid. Uh, I didn't realize when we played Solid 4, but uh, Ava was only the surrogate mother for Solid and Liquid. Solidus came later somehow. He's the youngest? Yeah. Yeah, he looks older, but then again, Snake was also prematurely aged. Yeah. I guess he's just showed up a lot earlier. Uh, like I mentioned before, I think that that's my impression of canon why he looks so old. Which, what was it? Uh, the disease showed up earlier in his life. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, it's still super dumb, because it's not like... That's not how it works. It what? doesn't what? like what? age you super duper uber fast. You don't look 80 at the age of fucking 30. Well, it's fucking genetic engineering bullshit yeah. thing. But that is a real disease. Metal Gear! Yeah! Okay, let's hurry up and plant these bombs. That sound sounds a lot like uh, MGS2 soundtrack. Yeah. It sounds like when uh, fucking the colonel goes insane. Yeah. This is an AI. By the way, he talks about Galway Fortress when he goes nuts. That is uh, Ghost Babel. I might have said before that it was acid. I wasn't sure. It's Ghost Babel. And I thought Ghost Babel was just like an adaption of Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy. Because. It was only called Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy in Europe. <laughs> but it's like an alternate timeline thing. Buddha, 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 Buddha. Here comes one twist. Elisa. No, Ursula, don't. Snake, shoot me. Elisa, what are you talking about? Hurry, Snake. You have to shoot me before Ursula awakens. Shoot now. If you don't. Won't be the first time a snake I shot a woman. Nope. So yeah. How many times has Solid fucking pumped the Meryl with Trank darts? At least twice. a few times. Ursula and Elisa were originally 
Why does Sony hate women? They just fucking. Oh, woman, drank our time. Pew pew pew. I don't think that's what happens. In all three games that he's the main character, he shoots a woman with drank darts. And, uh, he's the star of like five games. Yeah, I know. I forgot. I forgot. Well, I know the Solid games. Well, he, he's not actually the star of Solid 2, though. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of implied that this Metal Gear doesn't actually work. But it. But she can move it with her mind enough that it, like, seems to work. Yeah. It also looks super dumb. Yeah, and it's not a bipedal tank. Yeah. Which I thought was what Metal Gear was. Yeah, bipedal uh, nuclear... Yeah. Launching thingy. So Mr. Kefka here is pretty smart using... Uh, uh, like C4 on the ground where he knows it will land to do big damage. Music going crazy. Oh, did you know that you can, uh, with like big robot dudes with the shields in Revengeance, did you know that you can bullet time both the small and big missiles? You can blade mode them? Uh, I didn't think about that, but um, that makes sense. When you shoot the horde of small ones, you can just like slice through a majority of them in three slices. Huh. It's super cool. <laughs> I don't know why Kefka included that clip of himself like lying flat down on the floor. Ah, it's funny. With a <laughs> missile to his face. Elisa, get out of there. Elisa. I don't know what that was so funny. He beat Metal Gear. It's all over. Our nation will never. It's all over. Wonderful. Only you could have destroyed Russia with Ursula at its helm. I can see now why you caught Ocelot's eye. Major Ocelot from Groom. What does he have to do with this? What does he have to do with this? Did you see him? I saw. Good. Fucking don't move away too far from the mech. I'm doing the Oslo dance. I know. I love my boy. You can't blackmail the world with nuclear attack anymore. Give it up. Fucking. You destroyed my metal gear. Why, Snake? Whatever do you mean? What? Beep beep. This is a good time. Of course, they got a. Not the ballistic launch Metal Gear. That was Metal Gear Russia, produced for performance evaluation. It was a test model. Test model. Sokolov. Sokolov. Of course. So you're the ghost. So ghost is Sokolov. Yeah, I assumed. Yeah. That's why. So depending on what. I mean, from your voice and also uh, the way he was talking. I never thought you oh, fair enough. I assumed it was so close. My first thing to was Oslo, but no. Thanks to you, I was reunited with my family for a little while at least. So, depending on if you consider this game canon or not, Sokolov either lives or dies in Solid 3. Yeah. defected to the United States and participated in the development of Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Fuck. That one day it would be used against the Soviet Union. <laughs> so... That's the real Metal Gear? Yes. So Russia was not the real one. plenty of time. I think the real model is just called the ICBM Metal Gear, 
or ICB Metal Gear, something like that. <laughs> Intercontinental Ballistic Metal Gear. Yet you never stop to think about the future you want to see. What? Soldiers, hear my words! The Cold War will soon be over, for the United States and the Soviet Union no longer have the strength or the authority to shape the world as they see fit. Even as America sinks deeper into the quagmire of the Vietnam War, her allies in the West have achieved tremendous economic growth. And with the collapse of its planned economy, Russia can no longer keep up with the financial demands of her vast army. But the end of the Cold War does not mean that peace will follow. Freed from the domination of the world's superpowers, nationalism will soon be the driving force behind global politics. And the ever-widening gap between rich and poor will fan the flames of hatred between nations. Nuclear weapons will slip from the superpower's grasp and spread throughout the world. Soon, no one will know when or where the nukes will come from. Today's ally may be... Those are some long-ass turret pipes. Worse, yep. The time may come when soldiers of the same country will kill their brothers. Just like you are now. I believe those are called cannons. I couldn't find the fucking word. Your comrades, your families, stop it, you. Is there no one who has a grudge against you? No one who mocks you? No one who really needs you? Is there truly no one out there who would kill you? So he's using his stupid psychic bullshit. Knock it off, Jim. <laughs> Knock it off. So all the soldiers go nuts on each other. Yeah. It reminds me a bit of, do uh, you know Purple Man? No. Uh, ah, the FNAF dude. No. I, I, I know you didn't mean that. He's, he's a Marvel villain. Uh, his power is, if you hear what he says, you obey what he says. It's really busted and scary. Oh, he's like the music monster. Maybe. I'm not sure about that one. Whatever he sings, oh. he do. Yeah, he's no, a but there's one. one scene with Purple Man where he's like, he's in Times Square in New York, surrounded by people, and he like just yells at the top of the lo his lungs like, "Hey, kill the per, just beat the person to your left to death," and it's the most chaotic, brutal fucking thing ever. Huh. He's uh, the main villain of the Jessica Jones TV series. Oh, he is? Yeah, he's played by Devin Tennant there. <laughs> the Tenth Doctor. Oh. That's pretty good. Why didn't you say that I was like Lelouch? Because I haven't seen fucking Code Gay Ass. <laughs> Look at. See, watch K Code Gay Ass, you motherfucker. It's good. Probably should. Probably will one day. Where is he? Where is that man? I found you. Tell me, why are you still alive? Code Gay has taught me that terrorism is badass. Hey, you, you're probably gonna want to listen to this. They come save me with strong arms and laughing voices. When I woke up, I had enough. No joy. No sorrow. None of the cobras. All I see are the bodies of men I've killed, lying in front of me. My memory is riddled with corpses. I know. Everybody dies. Crime, disease, accidents, war. 
I don't know about this wavy effect. What do you hope to accomplish by living? Here. It was four years ago in Mozambique. There was a child soldier fighting with a guerrilla group in the struggle for independence. He killed dozens of government soldiers with just a single knife. He'd throw the enemy off guard with the innocent frankness of a young boy. Then he'd prey on them with the cold cruelty of a hunter. He spoke a little German, so his enemies called him Frank Jaeger. The Frank Hunter. <laughs> Frank Yeager. My name. <laughs> Don't do this. The strong arms. What? Yeah? What? <laughs> do you know? Do you know? So apparently even before the cyborg ninja shit, Grey Fox was like an absurd super soldier. Is it no? Okay, it's not Knull. It's not. No, it's not Knull. What the fuck? Well, it, it, that would also be pronounced Null in English. It wouldn't be in English. Unless you're a fucking Venom villain, Knull. <laughs> fucking. God damn it, it's so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> It's so so funny. if you don't speak Swedish, knull means fuck. <laughs> it's not like the like fuck like the curse word. It's like banging. Yeah. Or just bang. It's basically sex. Kinda. So so you have a villain named Sex. It's funny. Yeah, and then it, and then the advertising is like knull is coming. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so Frank Jaeger is like beaten by Big Boss and sees him now as some sort of savior, which is why he's like the foxhound guy in Metal Gear 1. Wait, how old is Grey Fox? Hmm? How old is Grey Fox? Uh, considerably older than Solid, apparently. Yeah, I thought they were like not that far apart in age. He's gotta have like 15, 20 years on... This is one year before Les Enfants Terribles. Yeah, and he's... He's got to like... At least 22 years as a snake. Something like that. But I don't answer to them either. My employer is the US Department of Defense. What do you mean? Everything you've seen so far. Surely you know the CIA and the Pentagon aren't on the best terms. You're talking about a fight over budget? No, not that. The Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961. The covert ops in North Vietnam. The influence of the CIA and America's military affairs grows with each passing year. The Pentagon brass started to feel threatened. And then they found out about the Metal Gear project. They enlisted Gene, Fox Unit's commanding officer and had him steal it before it could be handed over to the Russians. What do you think would happen if Gene were to launch Metal Gear into the Soviet Union? The CIA lose face, and the military's influence would immediately start to soar. You were trying to get Gene to use the nukes on purpose? Are you out of your mind? You'd start an all-out nuclear war. So... Again, Snake. Yeah. He is just a renegade. And the Russians are the ones who built this base. The fundamental design for Metal Gear and the nukes it carries are Russian made. Can you blame Washington? Besides, there'll be no evidence left behind anyway. See this snake? A Davy Crockett. Exactly. Yeah, we know that is yes. Yeah. But this one is Soviet made. After Gene launches Metal Gear, I'll obliterate his face. Not a single blade of grass will be left behind. What are you going to do with the other soldiers? Those Red Army rebels? What do you care? They're our enemy! 
<laughs> but you're different, Snake. You carried out your mission well. That's some interesting art. You followed the script here the yes. wrote for you to the letter. Script. Do you want to know the real reason you were sent here? Because we knew you threw a wrench into Gene's plans. We needed someone to sneak into enemy territory. So fucking Metal Gear in a nutshell. Like everything is like part of a plan five layers deep. Yep. The only soldier who could pull it off was you. The legendary hero. Tactile tactile stuff espionage. Big boss. That's just what you've done. Now you've done quite enough. We still need Gene to launch Metal Gear. It's part of the Pentagon's plan. Can't have you disrupting that too. There's a heliport on top of this base. Get on the chopper, Snake. Once Metal Gear has been launched, this plan will take you back to the States. After this place is nothing but cinders, you'll be a hero once again. It won't be the CIA congratulating you, but you'll get over it. What do you think you're doing, Snake? Are you still blinded by your loyalty to the CIA? What has the CIA ever done for us at Fox? They sent us on the most brutal missions. And when I came back wounded, they shoved kinda, me to a death job. Kind of like how they keep zooming in on his prosthetic. That's the same picture! But it's flipped this time. Yeah. Flipped on the x-axis. He's kind of holding it like he's aiming with his not eye. I guess yeah. you could. Have it your way. Now you're a real trick. I don't know. To defeat the Huns. So yeah, he, he's basically got one of those thingies. And this elevator feels a lot like the one on Shadow Moses. Yeah. And then why did they make the weapon so fucking powerful in Metal Gear Solid 3? What do you mean? Like, the shotgun and uh, LMG could, can shred like any boss. I feel like in Solid 4 and onwards, they just like gave everything five times the health they used to have. Yeah. Which I don't personally like, but... Not really. I've only played 4, you know. Yeah. So I can't comment on the later games. Well, consider the bosses of 4 and how many fucking bullets you had to pump into each of them. Compared to before. If you just yeah. home to America, you and I would have been given the highest honors a soldier can achieve. And now, look what you've done. Fuck you, Snake. I'm taking you with me. Cunningham, no! <laughs> Smash. Nice of you to join us, Snake. These are the Metal Gear engineers. And this room looks a lot like the Shadow Moses Metal Gear hangar bay control room thing. So, next layer in the conspiracy. I simply used it to my own 
advantage for my real plan. Real plan? I won't be launching Metal Gear into the Soviet Union. What? The Pentagon must have been prepared for the possibility that Cunningham might fail to erase the evidence. They're probably in negotiations with the Red Army as we speak. Even if I launched Metal Gear into Russia now, it wouldn't trigger a war. If Russia isn't the target, then what is? Virginia, USA. CIA headquarters at Langley and the Pentagon. Philosophers, twin layers, be obliterated. You're launching a nuclear strike against America? But if you do that, chaos will be created on an unprecedented scale. Worst case scenario, America ceases to exist as a nation. The existing world order crumbles. And Russia won't escape unscathed either. That gear will have been launched from a Soviet nuclear missile base. Yeah. After a storm of international criticism, the Warsaw Pact will lose its sway over the Third World. It may even face armed conflict with NATO. Why? Why would you do that? To free the world from the Philosopher's control, I'll create a new global balance of power of my own design. My goal of building a new nation of mercenaries with only the most capable soldiers is real. But like the One Piece. Is not the right place for it. Our nation will be an organization of shadows, without shape or form. We will lurk deep underground and intervene in conflicts all over the world. History will be ours to control. I will accomplish what the hollow shell of the philosophers could not. A superior breed of soldier. This organization will be the true peninsula of the dead. I call it Army's Heaven. Army's Heaven. <laughs> I will not allow the world to be yes, a playground stupid. for abstract national interest. But he's basically describing Outer Heaven. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Get it outside heaven. I get it. Get it? I get it. Fuck's sake. Fucking. Yeah. Oh god. Those who have no calling must be given one by those who do. They must follow the teachings of those who have great will. I suppose that be you. It is my calling, and I will bestow it upon. The countless masses with no wills of their own. The unlike the masses. And they cannot make the judgment go. Petty contentment. They must sacrifice all their energies to the cause. Pour their feeble lives into it. As the boss. You're not worthy to speak of the boss. You never knew. What are you talking about? Six years ago, during Operation Snake... Volgen? Volgen launched an American nuclear missile at Sokolov's research lab. You can kind of tell in this music as well, there's hints of the... the US Sons of Liberty's theme. Yeah. The boss, to prove its innocence. And you, were the assassins. was all a setup from the very beginning. Volgan launching the nuke. The boss is dead. <laughs> it's the same thing! <laughs> it was all the work of your country. And a single, deviously cunning strategist. You're saying it was all a setup. We've also seen, seen that picture a lot of times. Give up her life. Yeah. Your 
country can't save you. Neither can your old teacher, nor your so-called friends. Join me, Jack. I will give you your pearl. I'll find my own. You and your phony ideals can go to hell. Go to hell. Really laying it on thick here. Yeah. She's about to say something really interesting though. I see it. And this is, uh, oh, I believe this is Calling to the Night, the music song is called. So that line is really good. Uh, your, your son will lay the wor world to ruin, your son will save the world. Yeah. This is the end, Snake. Metal Gear has already entered launch mode. Trajectory calculations and target locations have been set. Yeah, no Calling to the Night, performed by Natasha Farrow. So his effects are really cool. Did you recognize that, by the way? Loyalty to your country? What will it be? Loyalty to your country. That's exactly, yeah. what, exactly what the boss says. Yeah. What does he throw? Sorry? What? Is he like... Throwing bullets? Knives. Knives. I think. Yeah, right. He's got a lot of them. Just like a vamp would have done. Yep. He's got he's got some vamp energy. A bit. 
With the uh, dodging bullets and a lot of knives. Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I mean, you're still flesh and blood. The boss. The story about soldier cheese. Perhaps it was true after all. You are the true successor. I don't know what you're babbling about, Gene. How do I stop Metal Gear from launching? Don't bother. Once the launch countdown has started, there's no way to stop it. Get out of here, Snake. And take this with you. What's this? The equipment, personnel, and funds I amassed in secret to build Army's Heaven. All the data is stored on that film. No one else knows about it. Why are you giving me this? Because you and I are the same. Someday, we'll be glad to be a tree from the one who fights and survives. He said someday. Fine. I've said everything I need to. You are the one who will inherit my genes. You are the true successor. Be loyal to yourself. Go forth. And find your own calling. Gene! And so that's how Big Boss has the funds to establish Outer Haven. Heaven, not Haven, that's a different thing. Yeah. The control panel is locked out and won't respond. How do I stop it? I can see from here that the control circuit has been locked, but Metal Gear's solid rocket motor does not have a post-ignition fuel control mechanism. Once it goes into launch mode, there is no way to stop it. I don't care if I have to destroy this whole base, as long as it stops the nuke. If you can dismantle the Metal Gear unit itself before ignition, you may have a chance. The Metal Gear unit? You mean that thing that's attached to the missile warhead? Metal Gear is no mere nuclear missile. It is jettisoned from the booster at 3,000 feet above the target and parachutes down to the ground. After that, it launches its payload of miniature nuclear warheads. By destroying the Metal Gear unit before takeoff, you can prevent a nuclear strike, even if you can't prevent the launch. However, the Metal Gear's designers anticipated this, keeping armor thicker than a tank. And should the rocket itself be damaged, the entire silo could explode. Looks like I'm about to be burnt to a crisp. But I can't sit here and let the world be destroyed. Snake! Dun, dun, dun. Two minutes. some payoff for if you play the game and you've recru you recruited a bunch of soldiers. You recognize that voice? Quentin Flynn, Raiden. Yes. Uh, he's only credited as one soldier. Which cute, I guess. Yeah. He got he got to be in the game. Even if Raiden of course couldn't. Is that another 3D model? Might be. That might even straight up be like a uh, rotoscoped of actual footage of uh, stage separation. <laughs> it looks very much like uh, footage I've seen. You did it, Snake. You succeeded in destroying Metal Gear. Metal Gear has deviated from its course 
and is in free fall. Sensors show that the nuclear warhead launch tubes have been shut. Well done, Snake! Snake? Snake! I was waiting for it, but it never happened. I know. My name is Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. The triple spy for the philosophers. So you're awesome. You say you're here to meet me? That's right. We confirmed that Metal Gear entered launch mode. First wave of nukes should arrive here within 30 minutes. I'm aware of it. I'm heading for the shelter as soon as I can. But I can't leave these documents here. Documents? Related to the philosophers? Yes. A list of members, along with data, locations of portions of the legacy stashed around the world. So long as we have these, even if the United States does perish in an atomic storm, the philosophers will be born again. Splendid. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? You're not planning to Six shots, more than enough to kill anything that moves. No. I'm not going to betray them. I'm going to end them. Then we'll take back what you stole from us. We will carry on the spirit of the true patriot. A true patriot? It's all part of our plan to make the world she envisioned a reality. And so, I've come for the other half of the legacy. Gunshot sound effect was weirdly timed. Quite a welcome back home. Camp off. You healing up all right? Yep. Nearly good as new. Can't wait to get out of here though. That nurse is an unholy terror. It's all your fault for pushing a wounded man too hard. What about Frank? The child soldier from Mozambique. He's alive. So he's a mess both mentally and physically. I guess yeah, I see him. Let's see him. That, is that supposed to be zero? Maybe. Normal life. So I hear they did a cover up job on Fox's Rebellion. Yeah. They're saying I was sent out to take down the Soviet missile base. That's it. <laughs> Can't say I blame them. After all, how do you share the news that the U.S. homeland was facing nuclear attacks? Don't beat yourself up over this thing. You did your country a great service. You deserve that mess. No one knows that better than you and I. That's zero. So what will you do now, Snake? I don't know. But I've realized something. What's that? I'm not living unless I'm in battle. So I have to find my own reason to fight. I have to pass on what's been handed down to me. Take care, Snake. We'll meet again someday. So yeah, apparently there was a Metal Gear before and someone else had the idea of Outer Heaven that Big Boss will now do, I guess. Man, this game is super weird. It is weird. You're not like weird in the same way as the other games? Well, no, I guess not. Because those games are also weird, but they're weird in All the, these like, games are weird, yes. the kooky way. This game is just like... Josh Keaton and Brian Cummings was also back. Yeah, coming. And apparently, all the like, there were the voice actors for the old Kodak crew, but I don't. Maybe there's more cutscenes that were cut out in this movie edit. I don't know exactly. Shout out again to Kefka Productions for putting this together. Uh, 
Is this game worth playing? Probably. If you know you have a PSP and you can find it. It's a victim of uh, no ports for 15 years or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we're currently in an interesting position where not only are we getting ports seemingly for most of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, we're even getting a remake for uh, Solid 3. Snake Eater! Snake Eater. Metal Gear Delta. Yeah, is it Solid Delta? I think it has the word Solid. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid Delta. Yeah. Which... Which you means... You know, I have, I have no hopes. <laughs> I, I don't trust Konami at all. But yeah. I'll give it a chance. I'm probably more excited than I should be. Mm. Uh, the big thing is if it's going to be a PC. Yeah. It's probably going to be at Otherwise, least... Otherwise, it may actually be worth getting a PS5. I think? Maybe. The only thing that really makes me want to get a PS5 is uh, Spider-Man 2. Yeah. For me, it's uh, Spider-Man and Metal Gear and also God of Wars. Is Ragnarok... Only PS5? Uh, and PC. But the older... Uh... This song is really good, by the way. Yeah, the older God of War games are... Uh, are they a... getting a remaster? Remake? I don't know, but I think they're on PlayStation 5 anyways. Because yeah. they're on PS4. Yeah. And there we go, Natasha Farrow. And I think, uh, actually, I'm not sure if the PS5 is backwards compatible. Norihiko Hibino, the the writer, played the soprano saxophone on this track. Interesting. Nice. I didn't know that. Soprano saxophones are cool. Mm. There we go, artist Ashley Wood, for the story cinematics. Yeah. Interesting way to. Do it, I guess. I think uh, it works mostly. Box. Box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, we we didn't play play this game, but uh, I think this serves as well. I th at least I think I'm gonna put this up. If nothing else, you have seen it. Yeah. Uh, which puts us in a pretty good place to start Peace Walker very soon. For us, very, very soon. For us, and... Uh, and like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, if this video even goes up. Yeah. Uh, which, Peace Walker is considered canon, uh, even still. And is, in fact, very much needed if you want to have any idea what the fuck is going on in Ground Zeroes and subsequently Phantom Pain. Which, I don't know. Like, it's the funniest fucking thing, right? Because Metal Gear Solid... himself into a pickle. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain was coming out. And tons of people were like, saying, Man, this game looks really good. W will, will I be okay to start at this game? Will I understand the story? And everyone was like, whoa, no. <laughs> I saw a guy who was reviewing Metal uh, Gear Rising. Yeah. And it was like, I have not played the other games, and neither will I, because look at this Wikipedia page of lore. Don't look at the Wikipedia page. Uh... I see a lot of people starting with Revengeance now, because it's... Regain yeah. some uh, notoriety as a meme game. Yeah. I don't know about that. Still pretty good, though. Still pre it works. You can. Well, here's all the portable ops. Nano machines, son. See you in Peace Walker. Play the college there is ball, you know. More? Is there a... Oh, right. There's a phone call. What? To Mr. President? Like all the other games? Well, I'll be damned. So it was you who was feeding me information. 
Yes, the DCI's death should pass as suicide. They'll claim he did it because he felt responsible for the theft of Metal Gear. We can look forward to a major shakeup on the seventh floor at Langley shortly. It looks as if everything is going exactly the way you wanted it. When the DCI saw the Get relaxed, the dude. Supply and found out he was the target of the nuclear strike, he brought the philosopher's documents right to him. Yes, we should have known Gene was serious about launching those nukes. Seems our insurance policy came in handy after all. It did quite well. And now, I've got the legacy. Is that all part of your skip, too? Using him and Fox unit like that. Only you could have pulled it off. But, you won't be using me anymore. Battle data from the perfect soldier. Jeez. Genome? <laughs> I see. Are they setting up the genome soldiers now? I forgot that. I'll help you with the project, but on one condition I want him to join us. Yes, big boss. So that we can become the Patriots. So it was probably zero. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Uh, see you next game. Vigo is closing his eyes. Uh, very good. See you in uh, the uh, Peace Walker.